Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of open cart shipping based payment method and using this extension the store owner uh, would be able to limit the customers wherein the customers get to choose only those payment methods for completing the orders that have been assigned to each of the shipping methods by the admin from the admin backend. So after uh, selecting a shipping method the customers will only get the respectively assigned payment methods available for that particular shipping method and lastly the customers can choose a payment method and can place their order as well so let's get ahead and let's see how this extension works but before that what we'll do is we'll go to the admin backend configuration of this particular module and after that we'll be showing you the workflow of this extension at the front end so let's get to the admin backend panel first so here I am in the admin backend panel and uh, after the successful installation of this extension the admin needs to navigate through uh, extensions extension then under the extension type you need to select the modules and here we will navigate to the shipping based payment method and we will tap the edit button so as to bring up the configuration settings of this particular module and here we are on the shipping based payment method uh, configuration panel right now and the very first option that we have is to enable or disable the status of this particular extension so if you select it as enabled then the extension will uh, work and be available for use at the front end as well and if you disable it then the extension would be displayed and you won't be able to make use of the uh, functionality of this particular extension after that uh, what the admin needs to do is he needs to map the shipping methods with the respective payment method so for that we'll go to this section that says map shipping payment method and here you can see that we have one column that is shipping method the other one is the payment method now to do mapping between the shipping methods and the uh, uh, and the uh, payment methods what the admin needs to do he needs to tap this edit button here on the bottom right hand corner and this brings up this horizontal section wherein uh, uh, the admin will be able to select a particular shipping method so all of the shipping methods that are available there within your open cart web store would be listed uh, under here after you uh, tap on this drop down and similarly all of the payment methods that you have uh, on your uh, open cart web store and uh, which are enabled would be enlisted here under the payment method column here so uh, what the admin needs to do the admin needs to uh, map the shipping with the payment methods so for example what we can do is we can set up free shipping and uh, we can set it as uh, for if a customer selects the free shipping method and the checkout time uh, then the admin can set up the payment methods that can be used for this particular shipping method. For example, if we are using the free shipping method and at the time of checkout the customer selects the free shipping method, then whichever payment methods the admin would have chosen here under the uh, payment column for this particular shipping would be visible to the customer for placing the particular order. Uh, one more thing is there that uh, for example if uh, the admin has not done uh, the mapping for a particular shipping method then all of the payment methods that are available within your store would be displayed to the customer at the checkout page so uh, they won't be dependent uh, depending upon the uh, shipping method selected by the customer rather uh, the customer would get all of the payment methods uh, that are available within your uh, open cart web store so similarly the admin can add multiple shipping methods and can accordingly uh, select the payment methods that would be associated with the uh, respective the uh, chosen shipping method so uh, let's get in let's see how this extension works at the front end so uh, before we go to the front end uh, let me show you we have three shipping uh, methods that we enabled uh, within the open cart with our web store so all of those uh, shipping methods are visible here and all of the payment methods within my store are available here on the right hand side as well 
So what I've done, I've uh, done the mapping for my three shipping methods. That's the uh, country-wise shipping method, and then the flat rate and the free shipping. Now for the country-wise shipping, I have set uh, the payment method to be visible as check money order and let's select it as cash and delivery as well. Then for the flat rate, we have set it as only bank transfer and for the free shipping, we have set it as cash and delivery. So let me go ahead and let me save uh, the configuration first uh, for the shipping based payment method. So uh, basically what it does is that uh, you can set up the payment methods that would be available for the uh, respective uh, shipping methods within your open cart web store and the customers can uh, select the payment method according to the chosen shipping method so uh, let me take you to the front end now and let me show you how this extension works at the front end for the customers and before we proceed further i've just shown you uh, how we can add the mapping or uh, you can say that uh, uh, how to add a new mapping. I've shown you how to add the mapping there for your shipping methods. Now, after we're done here, we'll just uh, go to the front end now. All right, uh, so right now I'm at the uh, OpenCart web store and I've logged in as a customer right now. So uh, let me go ahead and let me choose a product and let me put it in the cart so as to make a checkout. And uh, I've added the product into the cart and let me tap the checkout button. So as we proceed to the uh, other sections, so here uh, the uh, billing details, uh, the address for the billing detail is already selected. I'll select it as continue, and uh, let me choose the delivery uh, address. We'll keep it the same. And uh, now under the delivery method, here you can see that all of the three shipping methods are visible here, as we have shown you in the admin backend panel. So here we had set up the three uh, shipping methods, country-wise, flat rate and the free shipping and we uh, chose the uh, corresponding payment methods for each of these uh, shipping methods and there can be multiple payment methods uh, available for a particular or a single shipping method as well. So uh, let me go back to the checkout. Now here for the free shipping, uh, if the customer selects the free shipping and taps the continue button then you can see that uh, here we have a notification and that uh, available payment methods for this particular shipping method and all of the um, uh, payment methods that the admin would have uh, assigned to this uh, particular uh, uh, what we say as the uh, shipping method would be visible to the customer so for the free shipping uh, we had set up only cash and delivery so that's why when we selected the free shipping and tap the continue under the payment methods we only have the cash and delivery payment method uh, for placing the particular order similarly uh, for the country-wise shipping we had selected check money order and cash on delivery method so we had set up two methods for the, the country-wise shipping so let me go back to the checkout page let's go back to the uh, shipping method and let me select the country wise shipping and now let's stand the continue button so here you see that we now have two payment methods for this particular shipping method and the customers can select any one of these uh, payment methods and make a checkout thereafter so country wise shipping we had set up two and the two uh, payment methods are visible at the checkout and similarly if the customer selects the flat rate for the flat rate we had set up the bank transfer only so uh, now when the customer taps the continue button here you can see that the only bank transfer uh, payment method is visible so let's uh, select the free shipping or the uh, countrywide shipping let's tap the continue button and uh, here we can select any one of the payment methods we can tap the continue button and we can confirm our particular blur order as well after that so uh, the order has been placed and uh, we can also see the uh, history of our particular order that we have just placed and here we can see the uh, payment method and our uh, shipping method that we had selected so uh, that was much about the open card shipping based payment method uh, which allows the admin to basically 
set up the different payment methods for each of the respective shipping methods that are available within the admin's web store and that way the admin can uh, set up the uh, or map the shipping with the payment methods and whenever a customer selects a particular shipping method all the payment methods uh, relating to that would be displayed for the customer so that the customer can choose any one of those or any number of uh, payment methods that are there from them the customer can choose a single payment method and can proceed further to place the order so that was much about this extension and hope it helped you out and uh, if you have any questions or queries regarding this extension then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead